بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پروف آف ایکویشن آف موشن دیر آر تھری بیسک ایکویشن آف موشن وچ آر یوزلی یوز ان دا سچویشن وین دا باڈی از موونگ ود دا یونیفارم ایکسلوریشن اینڈ دیز کامنلی کار دیز ایکویشن آر کامنلی کار دا ایکویشن آف موشن فرسٹ ایکویشن is the equation which represents the relationship of the final velocity with the initial velocity, acceleration and time that is Vf is equal to Vi plus Ct. Second equation of the motion represents the relationship between the distance or displacement variable with the initial velocity, time, acceleration and The last equation or the third equation represents the relationship between the final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration and the displacement or distance. Now we prove all of three equations one by one mathematically. First equation of motion. As we know that first equation of motion is actually Vf is equal to Vi plus Ad and how it comes? It comes from the basic equation of acceleration as we know that acceleration is actually the rate of change of velocity means change of velocity per unit time and the formula is delta v over delta t and delta v is, is actually vf minus vi so if we move this t term t variable to the left side in the cross multiplication then at will be equal to vf minus vi and by moving vi variable to the left side vf will become equal to vi plus at so this is very simple proof of first equation of motion second equation of motion as we know that previously in the first equation of motion is v is equal to final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration into time and if this displacement is equal to v cross t where v bar is the average velocity every speed into time and we know that when every speed is multiplied with the time then it becomes equal to distance so What is the average speed and or how we can get the average speed? It's very simple. Average speed is actually the speed of initial velocity is the average of the initial velocity plus final velocity or initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2. This is the average speed. The term in the square bracket or in the big bracket is actually the average speed and multiplied by time. By putting the value of final speed from first equation of motion over here, we can see that this becomes equal to 2 vi plus 80, vi plus vi, 2 vi. And by dividing it by 2, it only becomes vi. And multiplying this term t with the vi, it becomes vi t. And 1 over 2 acceleration into t scale so the second equation of motion comes by this mean third equation of motion we know as early discussed acceleration is actually vf minus vi over t and from here we can get the value of t by moving t upward to the left and acceleration term to the rightward down in the denominator. So time of mo movement of a body can be get from <coughs> this relationship. And every speed is very simple sum of speeds divided by 2, initial and final speeds divided by 2. 
So putting the value of average speed from this term in this relationship and putting the value of t from this term over here, we can get the result in this form. And in the denominator, we see there is acceleration and the number 2, 2a, when moved towards left, the upward direction by cross multiplication, it becomes 2as and vf plus vi, in the small bracket, and vf minus vi, in the small bracket, and the multiplication of these two terms becomes vf square minus vi square. So, it completes, it concludes the proof. Thank you for watching the video uh, and please visit www.cancollege.com for more information, for notes, for video lectures and for tests, quizzes, MCQs, etc. Lot of material available on the www.cancollege.com. Thank you.